second law says really three things. Number one, Newton's second law says that if you apply a force to a mass, that mass will accelerate in the direction of the force. It's very easy to understand. It looks like this when I draw a diagram of it. If I have a mass, m, and I apply a force, f, to that mass, it will cause that mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. Notice here that the force and the acceleration, a, are both in the same direction. That's the first precept of Newton's second law. It simply says that if you apply a force to a mass, it will cause the mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. The second thing that Newton's second law says is it says that the acceleration of the mass is going to be proportional to the force. It works like this. If I apply this force to this mass, it will create or cause that acceleration. Force acting on a mass will cause that mass to accelerate in the direction of the force and the acceleration will be proportional to the force. If we look at a different situation, if I apply a smaller force to that same mass, then that will produce a smaller acceleration. The acceleration is proportional to the mass. On the other hand, if I apply a larger force to that same mass, it produces a larger acceleration. The acceleration is proportional to the force. Force, mass, and acceleration. So this is what we've done so far. We know that a force acting on a mass will cause the mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. We can see that here. We know that the acceleration is proportional to the force. This force acting on this mass will produce this acceleration. Half of this force acting on that same mass will give me half the acceleration. And twice this force acting on that same mass will give me twice the acceleration. Acceleration is proportional to the force. The third thing that Newton's second law says about forces, masses, and accelerations is that the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. What does that mean? Well, if I apply this force to this mass, it will produce this acceleration. However, if I apply that same force to a mass that is twice as large, and I'm not talking about large in size, I'm talking about large in mass. If this mass is 10 kilograms, then perhaps this one is 20. So if I apply that same force to this larger mass, then it will produce less acceleration. Now if this mass is 10 kilograms and this one is 20, then I would be producing an acceleration that would be half as large as this original acceleration. On the other hand, if I apply the same force to a mass that has, well, let's say it's if this is 10 kilograms, let's make this one 5, it's half that original mass, then I'm going to produce twice as much acceleration. So the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. Decrease the mass as I did here and you increase the acceleration. Increase the mass as I did right here and you decrease the acceleration. That is in a nutshell Newton's second law of motion. Three precepts. A force acting on a mass will cause the mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. Second precept, the acceleration 
is proportional to the force. And third precept, the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. Increase the mass, decrease the acceleration. Decrease the mass and increase the acceleration. And that is Newton's second law. If you have any questions, feel free to include your questions below and I'll make sure that I answer them post haste. Thank you very much.